Hello people, in this video, let us look at acoustic trauma. Okay, so basically some loud sound, sudden sound, it is an impulsive sound, some loud sudden explosion, whatever, will cause permanent damage to hearing. It can cause permanent damage to hearing. Basically here, there is a single brief exposure to very intense sound, okay, without this being preceded by any temporary threshold shift, okay, it is a sudden noise, impulse noise, okay. So, first of all, where are we? We are looking at noise trauma in that you have acoustic trauma, which is going to be a sudden, impulsive, single brief exposure to very intense sound. Noise induced hearing loss, um, this is not impulsive. Then you have non-auditory effects of noise like uh, uh, disturbance in sleep, etc., which can be caused because of noise because it is not actually auditory thing, but something else which affects the person, right? Like sleep disturbances. Some noise can, you know, some very loud noises when you stand in front of these speakers, right, which are very loud, your heart starts thumping. So, all those can come here. Okay, so basically, if we look at these permit uh, civil limits of noise as per uh, noise pollution regulation and control, okay, 2000, rules of 2000. Uh, so, basically, residential should be 55 in the day decibels, this is maximum, don't go to it. This is maximum 55 decibels in a day and 45 decibels in a night. Okay. So, basically, uh, th this uh, timings is also there. 6 a.m. to day means 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay. So, beyond 10 p.m., nobody should use loudspeakers, etc. And that is similar. Before 6 a.m., nobody should put. However, nobody follows these rules. Actually, loudspeakers are not even allowed, be it even during the day. However, some people uh, in the name of religion start off things before 6 a.m and makes everybody deal with it. Mm, okay, let's move on to acoustic trauma now. So, what are we looking at today guys? Acoustic trauma. Acoustic trauma is caused because of impulse noise. Who causes acoustic trauma? Impulse noise causes acoustic trauma. What is impulse noise? Sudden intense sound without being preceded by temporary threshold shift. Okay, so basically this is immediate exposure to intense sound before that he was not exposed to noise, right? And this might lead to permanent damage to hearing. So, this is called as impulse noise, sudden noise. It can be 140 to 170 decibels, okay? So, basically you should understand that it is as high as this. So, you know the normal, um, I mean not normal, but the maximum limit of these values. Just look at where 140 is, right? 140 to 170 decibels. So, noise of a gun, right, a gun being fired or a bomb or a loud cracker, right. So, all this can cause what? What can these cause, guys? Acoustic trauma. Now, because of these, what exactly will happen? So, just look at what and all exactly happens here, okay. So, such a brief and loud noise will mechanically damage organ of corti. So, where is organ of corti? In the cochlea, you have the organ of corti. So, that organ of corti will get damaged, okay. Then there will be tear in the Riesner's membrane. So, look at here. So, basically in the cochlea, here you have the Riesner's membrane. So, there will be a tear in the Riesner's membrane, right. Rupture of hair cells. Hair cells are where? In the organ of corti you have hair cells, the ruptured hair cells, right. Then endolymph and perilymph will get mixed. So, do you know where endolymph and perilymph are, guys, so that they get mixed? You should know where they are, right? So, look at this. So, perilymph is here and endolymph is here, where the, okay. So, basically, these two will get mixed. Okay. So, now, where were we? Okay. So, here we are. So, what and all happened so far? There is damage to organ of corti, tear in the Riesner's membrane. So, you saw where the Riesner's membrane is, didn't you? So, the Riesner's membrane is here. That's getting torn now. So, the hair cells have to get ruptured, right? You have inner, outer hair cells and inner hair cells, they'll get ruptured. There will be mixing of perilymph and endolymph, right? A severe blast in addition to all these make damage the tympanic membrane and disrupt ossicles also. So, the, it can happen that a sudden sound like this can disrupt the tympanic membrane, 
right? And even disturb these ossicles like uh, malleus, incus, and stapes, stapes. So there can be conductive loss. So guys, that is it about acoustic trauma. Just look at some finer points here. So acoustic trauma, single brief exposure to very intense sound without being uh, preceded by temporary threshold shift may lead to permanent hearing damage. So impulse noise will cause this. Impulse noise can be as brief as 0.2 milliseconds, milliseconds, 0.2 milliseconds, as brief as that. Okay. And uh, what else you should know here? What is temporary threshold shift? Basically, after exposure to noise, the hearing is impaired. Okay. And that can recover after a few minutes. Okay. Or a few hours or even two weeks. So that is temporary threshold shift where there is exposure to noise and there is hearing impairment and then the there is recovery. Okay. So that is a temporary threshold shift. Okay. So have you understood the acoustic trauma? How is it going so far? So this is all about acoustic trauma guys. If they ask, then you'll have to write exactly what exa happens here. Uh, basically the cochlea is damaged, right? Then cochlea is damaged. What else you saw? The perilymph, pendulumph will mix. The resonance membrane is affected, ruptured, hair cells, etc. In addition to all this, even the tympanic membrane can get affected. The ossicles can get affected. Okay. So that's all for now about acoustic trauma. See you. Bye-bye. 